Hey guys, in this video, we would be learning how to prove trigonometric identities. For proving trigonometric identities, we have to use all the formulas that we have discussed so far in the previous lessons, including the compound angle formula, double angle formula. Apart from that, we have to also know few formulas that we have done in the previous grades. So we'll just quickly go over those formulas. If you're given anywhere cosecant theta, we can write it as 1 over sine theta. If you're given secant theta, we can write it as 1 over cos theta. And so on, we have cot theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. Now, if anywhere we are given tan theta, we can write it down in terms of sine and cosine theta. So we can write it as sine theta over cos theta. Similarly, cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. So cot theta will be equal to cos theta over sine theta. Apart from this, another formula that's really helpful in proving identities is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Another one is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. And the last one is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. This is a useful note that we can apply to all the questions and that will make our problems easier to solve. The rule is try to change both left and right sides to sine and cosine form. Now we would use this note plus all of these formulas plus the compound angle formulas and the double angle formulas to do some problems. Let's take up the first problem to prove identity. Let's say we're given this question cos square theta minus sine square theta over cos square theta plus sine theta cos theta is equal to 1 minus tan theta. Now this is our left side and this is our right side. We would prove, we would solve the left side separately and we would solve the right side separately and we will follow the note where we're supposed to change everything to sine and cosine form. Now on the right side we see we have a tan theta which is not in sine and cosine form. We know tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. This is one of the formulas. Then we make the denominators common. So here we get cos theta over cos theta minus sine theta over cos theta. And we can write this as cos theta minus sine theta over cos theta. This is our simplified right hand side. Now we'll try to change the left hand side to this form as well. Apart from these formulas, we also need to remember a few factorization techniques from the lower grades. One is we have to know how to take out common factors. Second thing we need to remember is difference of squares, which can be written as a minus b, a plus b. Third is perfect square, so a plus b whole square can be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. And fourth is a minus b whole square can be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now going back to the problem, we would see that on the left side we have everything already in cosine and sine form. So there is nothing that we can change into a simplified form. So when everything is already in cosine and sine form, then we try to use factoring techniques to simplify the side. So here we see cos square theta minus sine square theta represents as a square minus b square. So a square minus b square can be written as a minus b a plus b. Therefore we can write on cos square theta minus sine square theta as cos theta minus sine theta which is a minus b times cos theta plus sine theta. And that's our new numerator now. Denominator is cos theta is a common factor out of these two terms. So we'll take out cos theta common. We'll be left with cos theta from the first term and we are left with sine theta from the second term. And now we see in the numerator and the denominator, do we have any common factors? If we have common factors, that is the entire bracket is what we have to cancel out. We cannot cancel out individual terms of the bracket. We can only cancel out the entire bracket. So we see cos theta plus sine theta, cos theta plus sine theta is an entire bracket there. And we are left with cos theta minus sine theta over cos theta. This is our simplified form on the left side. And we see that the left side is equal to right side. So we write down the statement as left side equal to right side, hence proved. Let's take up another example and the question says sine pi by 4 plus x plus sine pi by 4 minus x is equal to root 2 cos x. So we'll simplify the left side first. We see that on our left side we have sine a plus b and sine a minus b. 
so we would use compound angle formula and the compound angle formula for sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus sine b cos a similarly sine a minus b is sine a cos b minus sine b cos a so we would use these two compound angle formulas to simplify the left side and why are we doing so is because the left side is a combination of two different angles now on the left side we have sine a plus b so we do sine a is pi by 4 so sine a cos b plus sine b which is sine x cos a that is pi by 4 plus now we're solving this sine a cos b minus sine b cos a we know sine pi by 4 from the special triangles is 1 over root 2 and we get cos x which we can solve further here cos pi by 4 is also 1 over root 2 sine x plus sine pi by 4 is 1 over root 2 cos x minus cos pi by 4 is 1 over root 2 sin x. We see 1 over root 2 sin x and 1 over root 2 sin x. They are like terms. One is with a plus sign and one is with a minus sign. So we can cancel them out. We are left with 1 over root 2 cos x plus 1 over root 2 cos x, which is going to give us, because we have the same denominator, 2 over root 2 cos x. If you want to rationalize it further, we can write it as 2 root 2 over 2 cos x. That would cancel 2 and 2 and we are just finally left with root 2 cos x. Now we see that this is our left side and we did not even have to do anything with the right side. We automatically got left side equal to right side. So the final statement is, therefore left side is equal to right side, hence true. Let's do another example for the sake of practice. And the question is sine x plus cos x whole square is equal to 1 plus sine 2x. Let's simplify our left side first. We see this forms a perfect square a plus b whole square. Nothing is there to change to sine and cosine form because it's already in sine and cosine form. So we just apply factoring rule. We do sine square x a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So a is sine x here. So we would write on sine square x plus 2 sine x cos x plus cos square x. Now we also know sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. That's one of the formulas. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So theta could be replaced with any variable. We can collect sine square x and cos square x and that would give us a 1. So this is 1 plus 2 sine x cos x. We know this is a double angle formula 2 sine x cos x which is sine 2x and we see we again did not even have to touch our right side. We got left side equal to right side hence proved.